What does it tell you? Even during times of recession, even during times of difficulties, STEM is a subject, specifically computer science is a subject which will always be in demand. Hello everyone, I'm Rishabh Goel and welcome to Leap Scholars YouTube channel. Today I'll be sharing two reasons why you should still go to the US for your masters. If you like the content we are creating, if you like the perspective and the freshness we bring to YouTube, please subscribe to this channel and we would love to assist you through your study abroad journey. Over the past few days, I've seen a lot of discussions, comments and questions being asked whether you should go for masters in US or not. Uh, reason number one, the Trump visa ban has no impact on international students. So if you see one of my earlier videos in the I button on top, it is very, very clear that the Trump visa ban at this point of time has no change in F1 visa, no change in OPT, and any changes to H1B or other visa scarcities are limited only till the end of the year. If you are looking to apply for your masters now, you'll probably be looking to attend in fall 2021 and by that time this visa ban should hopefully be old news. As of today, if you think about study abroad uh, from a return on investment perspective, you study for two years and you get three years of OPT and we have seen typically that three years are more than enough to repay back the loan and also justify the return on investment. Now, after you complete your OPT, it's up to you if you want to stay back in the US or if you want to come back to India. The current H1B system is a lottery-based system. Okay, all applications are essentially considered similar. And if your name comes up in the lottery, amazing. Uh, and you'll get your H1B. If not, you'll have to apply again. Reason number two. When I talk about reason number two, it basically stems from why did the visa ban come in. And Trump's rationale was that uh, America is currently suffering from an unprecedented uh, unemployment rate, which is fair. It is a very high amount of unemployment rate. You had a peak of 20 million uh, jobs being lost. However, you can already see uh, green shoots in the economy and the economy recovering. Unemployment rate has gone down. US has an inherent shortage of 2 million skilled labor. Let me repeat this. US has a shortage of 2 million STEM skilled labor. US is short in STEM labor. US is short on skilled individuals who can add value in STEM positions. And since US has this inherent shortage and the shortage or this gap in supply of skilled labor and demand of skilled labor is so wide, there will always be job opportunities for international students. International students who are qualified in STEM and can contribute to the US STEM economy. SCAG P, and this is a very interesting SCAG. While unemployment in US went up during the whole COVID crisis, one sector actually had fewer unemployment. One sector had a lower unemployment rate, while all the other sectors and the overall number kept increasing up. This sector was computer science. Computer related jobs had a lower unemployment rate as you can see here, you had less uh, people being unemployed and you ha still have a lot of job opportunities open. What does it tell you? Even during times of recession, even during times of difficulties, STEM is a subject, specifically computer science is a subject which will always be in demand. I can rephrase it as STEM is evergreen. SCAC C, STEM is resilient. So I was looking at 2009 financial crisis as a way to understand uh, how economy recovers. And this graph was very, very interesting to me. This graph shows that how STEM employment bounced back after the crisis compared to the rest of the economy. Even though there was a slight impact on the STEM industry overall, the recovery rate, the way the industry rebounded was much faster and much steeper compared to the rest of the economy. So even if there is an impact in your industry for STEM, say, which is say not computer science, please bear in mind that historically STEM has rebounded much, much faster, much quicker. And by the time you'll graduate, which would be 22 or 23, you will see the economy would have rebounded and there'll be lots of job opportunities for you. Thank you so much for listening to me. Let us know what do you think. Will you be going to US or not? And write it down in the comments section below.